Okay, we've got the Realme 3 Pro on the left hand side and we've got the Vivo V15 Pro on the right hand side. This is a battle between the Snapdragon 675 and already a lead there by the uh, Vivo. I was saying this is a battle between the Snapdragon 675 and the Snapdragon 710. And we first of all, we had the Vivo go into lead, but now the Realme 3 has grown to the lead. It could beat that blur test much quicker than the uh, Vivo did. And they're both now into the 2048 test. So what's gonna happen is this is gonna be one of these neck and neck races, but we can see now the Realme 3 Pro Pro is just kind of bringing out the lead here. It's a several seconds now ahead of the Vivo V15 Pro as they've both now gone into this. Now look at that. That SQL light test does not look that fast on the Realme 3. Oh, but look at it on the Vivo. That is just absolutely amazingly fast. It's cutting its way through. It says, who's going to get to zero first? Oh, look at that with the Vivo. So now the Vivo is, is in the lead. So first it was one, then it was the other, then it's taken the lead again. This is absolutely amazing. What's this going to be like right up to the very last second? Are we going to have this neck and neck race? Now, as I was saying, this is a battle between the Snapdragon 710 and the Snapdragon 675. The Snapdragon 710 has got two Cortex A75 cores clocked at 2.2 gigahertz and six Cortex A75 cores along with the Adreno 616 GPU. Whereas the Snapdragon 675, although it's in the 600 series, has got two Cortex A76 cores, but they're clocked 200 megahertz slower at just two uh, gigahertz. But it's also got the Adreno 612 GPU, which is on paper slower. But already we see that the Vivo has gone first into the Unity test. So that's an interesting lead there by several seconds into this unity test. So does that really mean that the Vivo now is going to win or come the Adrian? Oh, that was a bit of a stutter there on the uh, Realme 3 Pro. And, and another one, that's not looking good. Oh, look at that. That's not good at all. I was wondering whether now the Vivo is going to win. And by looking at that, that really did give the Vivo a significant lead as it stuttered there for those few moments. But on paper, the Adreno 616 should be a better and faster GPU. So can the combination of the Cortis A75 with the Adreno 616 beat the combination of the Cortis A76 with the Adreno 612? We'll have to wait and see. Will those 200 megahertz make a difference in the CPU? There's also different generations of CPU from 75 to 76. Now it looks now as if the Realme 3 Pro has found its rhythm. It's dug deep. It's put its head down. It's going along and it's catching up. Look at that. They're neck and neck now. They're absolutely neck and neck now and I think as we go to this, yes look at that the Realme 3 Pro was the first to see the sun there as the flyby swooped over and down into this castle scene. They're both now heading towards this castle scene. This is really quite amazing. Who is going to win? Which one is going to get through it first? I really can't tell at the moment. Here we are, neck and neck. Oh, it looks like the Realme 3 Pro has gone first into the compression. Just one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. And now the Vivo, one, two, three, four, five, six. Which one's going to win? Which one's going to finish first? Which one will finish the test? And in what time? There it is. The Realme 3 Pro with two minutes and 48 seconds, followed very quickly behind by the Vivo V15 Pro with two minutes and 50 seconds. So there you go, what a race. My name's Gary Sims, this is Gary Explains. I really hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please like and subscribe. And well, that's it. I'll see you in the next one.